Welcome back. In this video, I'll be installing the first of the three laminates that make up the chimes. In a follow-up video, I'll be installing the remaining two layers of each chime. Let's get started. Before I bond these chimes onto the boat, I'm gonna stain them with some natural sapili stain. If I could give you one piece of advice, don't buy standard marine plywood. Upgrade to higher end, like Maranti or sapili or mahogany plywood. It will look a whole lot better. Um, so, yeah, you can see how Dan Lee does it. It looks really nice, but I honestly just didn't know these things existed when I started this project. So what I'm going to do is on the bottom side of the chine, I'm going to stain them so they match the boat where it's visible a little bit more. The chines fit flat on each of the frames and the chine top rail. So we must plane the bottom of the chine top rail to be parallel to each of the frames. First, I use the power planer. I do the majority of the leveling with the belt sander. I shape the frames to fit the chines with the mini belt sander. And finally, I shape each of the frames to ensure the chine top rail has approximately a one quarter inch overhang over the side of the rails. Now I move on to the chine laminate itself cutting the front chine so that it butts up parallel to the stem. It's an iterative process to get the chines to fit onto the chine rails. At the back of the boat, I trim the chine to go around the transom. I repeat the same process 
on the port side. I'm now ready to bond the first of the three layers of the chine onto the chine top rail. And to do this, I'm going to first flip each of these chines over. And I stain these because these are going to show on the inside of the boat. So I'm going to coat these with unthickened epoxy with the 207 Special Clear Hardener. This does not end up having a mean blush. So later I can put more coats on top of this. This will be visible on the inside of the boat. So I'm going to do this for each of the first layers of the line. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to coat the chine top rail with unthickened epoxy. And then I'm going to put thickened epoxy through all the notches in the chine top rail and then bond the first layer in place. I use the brush to seal the edges of the plywood, both in the areas that they'll connect and where they'll be exposed inside the boat. Once I have the edges coated, I'm gonna to move to a roller. And the idea here is to be able to get a lot of epoxy on quickly before this reaction kicks off. And I'm just using a stiff foam roller. This is my first time doing this, so We'll see if I got this right or not. Now I'm going to put unthickened epoxy on the top chine rail and in these notches and come back and fill them with thickened epoxy. I made this pretty thick to fill these gaps, just to make sure you get that all in there. Next, I put the thickened epoxy on the top chine rail. And I place the chimes.
So now what I'm going to do is use my router with this bit here. And this bit has a roller at the bottom, so it will cut the chine top, the chine uh, parallel or right at the edge of the chine top rails. I repeat the entire process for the port side chine. In the next video, I'll be bonding the second and third layers of the chimes. Till then, cheers. <laughs>